How's it going, guys? It's John at Gamester81, and I'll be reviewing Boulder Dash for the Intellivision. This is a brand new game for the Intellivision. In fact, this game surprisingly never came out back in the day for that, that console, which is shocking considering that this game has sold over a million copies and it's been ported to a whole bunch of handful of consoles and computers, including uh, the Apple IIc, which I played on back in the day, I think initially came out for the Atari 8-bit computers. Uh, NES saw a port of this game. I think JVC published it. Uh, and I think even the Game Boy may have seen a port of Boulder Dash, but gameplay wise, you'll see later in the video, it's very similar to uh, Dig Dug, I mean, it's kind of like maybe even Bomberman to a point. So if you dig games like that, uh, no pun intended of course, I think you'll really enjoy Boulder Dash. And if you haven't played this game, I highly recommend you check it out. It's a very addictive and fun gameplay, very simple to kind of go into and start playing, but it gets very, very difficult later on. Uh, but What's really cool about this particular game is, you know, a lot of people may consider this a homebrew because it's a new game for an old system. I, I don't really think of these games like as homebrew because I think homebrew is kind of like um, someone's making it from the house. That's not the case with these games. And when you, when you purchase games like this, you support uh, future games, new games for classic consoles. And in case you guys are wondering, this is available on a website called neighborhood.com. That's N-A-B-E-R hood.com. I'll put a link below in case you guys are interested in checking this game out. But with any further ado, uh, let's take a closer look. And I really, before I actually dive into the gameplay, I do want to talk about just the production value of this game. Uh, you have the box, the, the artwork in the box is actually goes, it harkens back to the original artwork for the game. Uh, kind of an interesting artwork. I actually like, I actually like it a lot. Uh, and also comes with two overlays. It comes with uh, instruction manual and the cartridge. So without any further ado, let's dive into it and uh, take a closer look. Let me know what you guys think. And also, in my previous video, I did a Transformers review over Optimus Prime that transforms into a PS1. In that video, I asked you guys, what crossover would you like from gaming to maybe a product? What would you like to see? In that case, it was you know, Transformers meets PS1. So what gaming product would you like to see kind of crossover to an item? And I thought, I was reading over the comments, I want to highlight one, and I thought there was a lot of great comments on there. I appreciate you guys sharing. And I think, I'm, I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing this guy's name right. Uh, Zopachi, he actually said that he would love to see a Borderlands 2 Nerf Blaster, which I think that's actually a really good idea. That'd be awesome to see. Um, so anyway, back to this review. Uh, and my question for you guys in this video, and I'll, I'll pick one in my next video and highlight, a, a highlight an answer, um, is what games would you like to see for the Intellivision that maybe were never ported to the Intellivision? Um, please leave a comment below and let's dive in, into this and take a closer look. Thanks for watching. Boulder Dash for the Intellivision is actually a really decent port of the game if you've played it for other consoles or other platforms, maybe the NES or maybe the classic 8-bit computers, uh, you'll, you'll definitely recognize the gameplay. Uh, one, thing I, one thing I do want to mention about this game though, this gameplay footage is for some reason the audio when I recorded this didn't match up with the video which is weird, it's never happened to me before. Uh, anyway, not the case when you actually play the game so just keep that in mind. One thing I love about these classic games though is just the simple uh, goal of, the, of these games. And the goal in Boulder Dash is to collect the diamonds in each stage. Once you collect all the diamonds, the stage is complete. You can go through a wall, uh, try to find a wall, you unlock a gate, and you go through the gate, the, the, and the game's complete. However, uh, it sounds simple enough. This game certainly isn't simple by all stretch of the imagination. Uh, this game's actually very challenging. You have these boulders to worry about, and if, if nothing's supporting these boulders, they will, tr they will fall on you. Uh, and then later stages, there's a lot more boulders to worry about. And not only that, but I was kind of surprised these diamonds will fall on you. And there's there's a perfect example. <laughs> and there's also enemies later on uh, in this game. So if we, here's another level. There's an enemy. I believe it's a firefly. And, and if you uh, dig up uh, next to him, he'll go through the kind of empty spaces and he'll hunt you down. Uh, and the only way to really kill him is to crush him with a boulder. Kind of like, uh, I guess, in Dig Dug. Uh, similar to that sense. Uh, but uh, the game can get kind of challenging and there's another way to get new uh, diamonds and that's basically there's these special walls uh, that you have to drop boulders through and they turn into diamonds. I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet in this game to be honest with you so I'm still kind of trying to figure that out. Uh, overall Boulder Dash is a fun game. Uh, there's different difficulties you can select from. There's different levels of course you can choose from in the, the beginning menu which I kind of like because if I'm stuck on a stage, I can still check out another stage. There's a timer you have to worry about in the top uh, upper part of the screen. If the timer counts down to zero, you die. So that can get kind of stressful. I'm kind of curious what you guys think about this game. If you played before, let me know. Please leave a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys soon. Take care and game on.
First off, guys, thank you so much for watching. Also, please subscribe. That means a lot. And if you want to stay in contact, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I also have a website, gamestreety1.com, and I have t-shirts available that help support the show as well. And those are available at chopchopgoods.com.